Raw and Smackdown recap, WrestleMania predictions, slamming merch and much more. I'm Tanya Tate and this is Wrestling with Tanya. Hello everyone, I'm Tanya Tate, a wrestling superfan and this is my new podcast, Wrestling with Tanya. Some of you may know I've been making YouTube videos for quite some time and some of them have a WWE theme. But this is my first attempt at an ongoing podcast. I do have some experience with a microphone. I've had a show on Vivid Radio, Sirius XM for quite some time. But this is something different. I'm a huge wrestling fan and I religiously watch a lot of WWE and have been for a few years now. So many years ago when I was a child... It was a long time ago. We used to watch on the UK television something called ITV World of Sport and it had wrestlers on and I can always remember Big Daddy. He was like obviously big. He had like one of those original unitards that you can imagine like old (laughs) fashion wrestlers used to wear in like circuses years ago, like the strongman uniform. And it kind of grew from there and then my brother he was a few years younger than me and he would watch WWF wrestling and we didn't really get it in England on the regular television it was on like cable television so we used to have I think they they must have been videos tapes and he played the videotapes so we would watch them so yeah so that was my first kind of intro into wrestling Fast forward quite a few years, I was actually in Dublin in a tattoo shop and um, I'm in Dublin and there's a big tall fella with red hair Oh, and it was Seamus and that was the very first time that I met Seamus, it was in Dublin and um, then I moved to the US and I realised that oh, you can get WWE on the regular television so I started watching it and there is this big tall fella with red hair like I don't know him. Yep, then it was Seamus. <laughs> so that is how I first started watching WWE. I continued to watch it every single week as much as I could. So when the WWE events come to the Los Angeles area, I always try and see if I can go. So now I wanted to start my own little wrestling podcast. Now occasionally I've written my match and event predictions for a few different websites. And more often than not, I've been wrong (laughs) in those predictions, but you know, I guess that's just part of the fun. So I invite all of you to join Hangout with me. I'm going to try and make it different from what you're used to hearing. Put my own spin on it and keep it entertaining as well. So you can expect to hear my recaps, commentary, predictions and more. And hopefully I'll incorporate interviews as well. So the audio portion of the podcast is going to be completely free. But for the video part, I'm going to try something a little bit different and have it available only to my Patreon subscribers. So you'll still be able to hear everything I have to say, but if you want to watch the video portion, you can just subscribe. And now my Raw Smackdown recap. So let's get to the Raw recap. This is the go-home episode of Raw, which means it's the last one before WrestleMania. So just about Everything is in place for the upcoming pay-per-view. So Raw started off with an in-ring meeting between Triple H, Stephanie McMahon, Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey and a few barbs back and forth. Triple H sucker punches Kurt from behind. Then Ronda steps in to put a chokehold on Triple H and Stephanie puts her through a table. I'm a little bit befuddled by this as Ronda is the baddest woman on the planet. But whatever. The woman with the best side ponytail, Bailey, took on Sonya Deville. Now, Sonya's pretty tough and has some powerful moves, but Bailey dominated the match. This was really good stuff from both of these women, and Bailey got the pinfall. Mandy Rose jumped in to rough up Bailey, but her frenemy, Sasha Banks, stepped in to lend an unwanted hand. While the former pals were having words, the Absolution ladies jumped back in to rough them up. 
Balor faced off against Rollins in a pretty aggressive match. Rollins won with the curb stomp, then pin. The lad Sheamus and Cesaro took on Braun Strowman, who still does not have a tag team partner for the Mania. Strowman threw them around before the lads make a run for it. They are going to have a tough time with him. Matt Hardy faced Goldust. After each delivering some wacky promos, Matt deleted dust and hugged the Andre the Giant statue they'll be battling for at Wrestlemania in the Andre Battle Royal. John Cena came out to a chorus of John Cena sucks, of course, to call out The Undertaker. Still don't know if this match is going to happen at Mania because there was no Undertaker to be found. So John stood in the middle of the ring smack talking. Elias was wearing a very lovely shawl when he is interrupted by Heath Slater who was squashed pretty quickly. But yeah, Elias does have awesome tasting shawls. WWE's Mean Girls, Alexa Bliss and Mickey James came out to face Dana Brooke and Asuka. What boggles my mind is when Alexa and Mickey enemies not too long ago. So with Alexa calling Mickey old and loads of other names and now they are besties. But Mickey and Alexa beat the living daylights out to Dana. Dana was able to get a few of her power moves in but was dominated by the two. Asuka got tagged in finally and was able to put Mickey in a submission hole to which she tapped out. A lot of great work by these women. Alexa and Mickey jumped Asuka after the match was over but they only got a few in when Nia Jax came flying down to the ring. Mickey sacrificed herself so Alexa could run away. Alexa is just such a perfect heel. You just love to hate her. Brock Lesnar came down to the ring and does his hop dance while Paul advocates for him and called out Roman Reigns. Paul called him Brock's bitch. Roman came out, went down to the ring and proceeded to knock Brock down repeatedly with his super duper man punch. Did I mention that Brock had a steel chair in his hand? Yet Roman easily knocked him down over and over again. Who do you think is going to win at Mania? LOL. So on Smackdown, the show opened with Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon threatening to beat Owens and Zayn at WrestleMania to get rid of them. The first match of the show was Charlotte taking on Miss Claus Out Natty. I don't know why it's taken me so long to realize just how tall Charlotte is. She towers over Natty. There was a lot of great moves and Charlotte got a lot of near falls and really tossed Natty around. When Natty did get a comeback, it was awesome. She did a little gloating, but it didn't last as Charlotte staged a comeback of her own. Charlotte tried a moonsault, but Natty got her knees up for the block. And that's when Carmella tried unsuccessfully to cash in her money in the bank to no avail. Natty tried to sneak a pinfall but got caught up by Charlotte and submitted. Great match, lots of twists and twirls and turns. I just loved it. Asuka came down after the match to confront Charlotte but nothing happened. Jin Mahal took on Rusev in a battle of the big guys while Bobby Roode provided commentary. The crowd was really behind Rusev with their Rusev Day chants and a lot of power moves between the lads. So Rusev won with a kick and got a point at the WrestleMania sign. Then out of nowhere, Randy Orton knocked Rusev down with an RKO. Then Bobby Roode got into the ring to get into a staring match with Randy. New Day did a fun promo, which Big E started. He had lots of fun pulling out his big device. It was a big, great, huge iPad. They were promoting the WWE Network and their match this weekend with the Usos and the Bludgeon Brothers. It ended kind of awkwardly, but it was always good to see New Day having fun. I actually wished it had carried on. We got an eight-man tag team match that had Zack Ryder, 
Fandango, Tyler Breeze and Ty Dillinger against Baron Corbin, Dolph Ziggler, Mojo Rawley and Primo. A kind of preview for the Andre the Giant Battle Royale. Baron won for his side by pinning Fandango. So Owens and Zayn stopped by. They jumped up on the announcer's table to cut a promo on Shane and Daniel only to be chased away by security. Shane and Daniel came out and we got to hear them lead a chorus of na 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 na. Na 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 na, hey, 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 goodbye. Again, isn't there another go away, see you later song? Any suggestions? Don't say see you later, alligator. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> In a wild crocodile. Oh, I don't know if that would work. Gabe and Benjamin faced off against AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura, who will be actually be wrestling against each other this weekend. It was a great match. Gable and Benjamin put up a good fight, but against two of the best in the business, they had no chance. Styles and Nakamura got the win. Then AJ tried to punk out Nakamura with a flying forearm, but just patted him on the head. Yikes, you pat me on the head? You better run. So that was it. Which were your favorite matches of the week? Let me know. Drop me a comment. Here are my WrestleMania predictions. Oh yes. Like I said, I'm usually wrong about my predictions fairly often. So if you're betting on the matches, I would say bet against me. So WrestleMania 34 is this weekend and it's going to be a long day. With the pre-show, the broadcast is looking to be about seven hours. Seven hours! So, what are the matches and who will come out victorious? Let's take a look at my predictions. Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal for the Andre the Giant Memorial Trophy. Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal for the Andre the Giant Memorial Trophy. So this apparently... It's going to be part of the pre-show. While not all the participants have been revealed, we've been given a few names like Dolph Ziggler, Tyler Breeze, Heath Slater, Baron Corbin and Goldust. So I expect there will be a few surprise appearances, but I'm really pulling for Dolph. He is one of the best wrestlers out there and I really like the guy. Also in the match are Mojo Rawley, Fandango, Ty Dillinger, Dash Wilder, Scott Dawson, Woken, Matt Hardy, Rhino, Zack Ryder, Prima Colon. Did I, did I say that right? Primo Colon, Primo Colon. Anyway, you know who I mean. <laughs> WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal for the WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal Trophy. Not the fabulous Mueller Trophy. Because, yeah, that wouldn't have been so fabulous. But some of the ladies involved in this match are Sasha Banks, Natalia, Lana, Ruby Riot, Naomi, Mandy Rose, Liv Morgan, Sonia Deville, Becky Lynch, Sarah Logan, Bailey, <laughs> so many, Mickey James, Carmella, oh my god, yeah, a whole lot. So there's some pretty big names here. And of course, I favor my girls, Natalia and Becky Lynch. But Sasha Banks, Naomi, Bailey are all contenders. And Carmel has been trying to cash in that money in the bank for the last couple of weeks. So maybe she does it tonight and is not worried about the trophy. I think the winner is going to be one of the newer faces. I'm betting that either Mandy Rose or Sonya Deville will come out on top. Cedric Alexander versus Mustafa Ali for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. So I don't watch 205 Live, so I have no idea. So who do you got? Let me know. Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns for the WWE Universal Championship. Wow. So for being one of the main matches of the night, I have to admit I'm not at all all interested in it so if Brock wins he'll continue on as always showing up here and there and if Roman wins 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 Roman wins wins oh and if Roman wins well I don't know I'm not really into this match but okay I'll pick Roman for the win 
AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the WWE Championship. So this is a tough call. Both have been on fire. Both are great wrestlers and both are worthy. But Styles is my pick to win. But it could go either way. Yeah. I do have a feeling that Nakamura will go over judging by the way he was treated by Styles on SmackDown. The Miz versus Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor. Triple threat match for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Finn Balor, Finn Balor, Finn Balor. <laughs> Even though it doesn't seem they've been showcasing as much as they probably should. Well, anyway, he's still my choice. And I expect the Miz to run in, but... That won't affect anything. Fimbala! 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 Thank you. Randy Orton versus Bobby Roode versus Jinder Mahal versus Rusev. Faisal four-way match for the WWE United States Championship. Okay, so this is another tough one for me. Just about any of these guys could walk out with the belt. But the popular Rusev is riding high and the crowds love him. Randy Orton always seems to end up with the belt. But Jinder could be wearing a belt. But I think I'm going to go with Bobby Roode. Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax for the WWE Raw Women's Championship. How the hell is Nia Jax? Jack's not champion. She's big, she's bad, she's one hell of a powerhouse. And no matter how awesome that Alexa Bliss is, Naya should have been carrying that belt a long time ago. So Alexa's gonna have to pull it out every trick that she has just to come out of this alive. I expect Mickey James run-ins, lots of stuff, but at the end of the day, the winner is going to be Nia Jax. Charlotte Flair versus Asuka for the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship. So this is one that's been building up for some time, but Asuka has remained undefeated, so Charlotte is an incredible athlete. But WWE has been promoting Asuka as a monster, and I can't see her losing. Cesaro and Sheamus versus Braun Strowman and his mystery tag team partner for the WWE Raw Tag Team Championship. I actually offered Braun Strowman on Twitter to be his tag team partner, but he didn't take me up on it. So who is he teaming up with? We'll just have to see. Either way, I think the lads are in trouble. Strowman is unstoppable by himself. And with a partner, the bar is going to have a tough time. They need to play it smart and sort things out. But I hate to say this, but I think the winner of the match is going to be Braun Strowman. Damn. The Usos versus the New Days versus the Bludgeon Brothers triple threat match for the WWE SmackDown Tag Team Championship. So the Usos and the New Day have had some pretty good matches against each other. And I think we'll see some of that. The Usos and New Day have had some pretty good matches against each other. And I think we're going to see some more of that. But the Bludgeon Brothers are there. I think they will be underfoot more than anything. And I can't wait to see what the New Day is cooked up. For their entrance, this is going to be a battle and I can see this as being the match of the night. So I'm giving it to the lads. The New Day will win. And why? Because New Day rocks. New Day rocks. I am Big E. Well, you can't see what I'm doing down there, can you? <laughs> Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey versus Triple H and Stephanie McMahon mixed tag team match oh please this is so one-sided if kurt equaled out triple h that still leaves rousey a trained professional ufc champion against stephanie mcmahon come on now easy one kurt angle and ronda rousey for the win daniel bryan and shane mcmahon versus kevin owens and Sami Zayn tag team match if owens and Zayn win they will be rehired to smackdown so this is going to be interesting. We all know that there's no way that Daniel Bryan is going to lose his first match back. So then how are Owens and Zayn still going to have their jobs? What I think is going to happen is Shane is going to take a crazy bump that goes wrong, giving the win to Owens and Zayn. And Daniel is not going to be pinned. I'm telling you that now. Okay, the winner of the match 
Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. Wow, that's a whole lot of matches and you're going to be watching Mania all day on Sunday. I'm going to be camped out in front of the telly all day and tweeting. So make sure that you are following me for some live reactions. <sighs> it's WrestleMania all day long. Me and my belt. If only I actually won this, this would be good. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the cool merchandise that is available now. So Finn Balor has an exciting shirt. It's his logo in a rainbow. And I thought that was really cool. It's like showing his diversity and, you know, everyone's accepted. Nice. Becky Lynch and Charlotte will debut their set of enamel pins at Mania. So if you see a set, I want you to grab them for me because I need those pins. They're really cute, actually. <laughs> you need to take a look. So new Seamus and Cesaro battle pack from Mattel is out. And these were picked up for me from Walmart. So if you want to get them, then that's where they are at. And I also got this awesome Natty figure. But guess what? I'm not going to open them. Unlike my Funko Pops, I'm going to keep these in the package. So if you see any other cool merchandise out there, let me know by sending me a tweet or email. And did you know that Seamus has his own YouTube channel? Look him up to see his Celtic Warrior workout channel. There are lots of cool stuff and lots of WWE superstars have made appearances and he's got dozens of videos up already. And I'm definitely a subscriber. Go to youtube.com forward slash Celtic Warrior workouts. And one of my good friends, Jesse Jane, is going to be making an appearance at the Neil All Fall event April the 20th in Gainesville, Texas. Looking at the flyer, seems like there will be a lot of familiar faces and only $10 to get in to see the show, so it's really something to do. More information can be found on the Imperial Wrestling Revolution.com. Go take a look and let me know how it turns out. And I actually interviewed Jesse for my YouTube channel. So make sure you check that one out as well. So do you have a question or show idea for me? Find my post on Instagram at Tanya Tate and leave a comment there. And I'll pull from that post for next week's podcast. Well, that's it for now. And it's been an interesting time. Hopefully you like it. So let me know what tweaks can be made. And remember next week, you'll be able to listen to the audio version for free. If you want to watch the video, you can subscribe to my Patreon. Other than that, please follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's everything. Until next week, keep slamming. Oh man, like I said, I'm usually wrong about my predictions. Baron won. So Matt Hardy. I think you the last line. Oh, delete, delete, delete. So I invite all of you to join. It join hangout with me. Hangout, okay. And when a lot of the live events come into town, then there's me. I get to go. I get to go and see those live events in La... <laughs> Don't. Right. So you do what else? Oh, that's it, isn't it? What else? <laughs> For some maybe prediction. <laughs>